the whole idea behind this video is that I made a comment on a Facebook thread saying this in like three sentences and it pretty much summed the whole thing up. People are lured to Tumblr based on a few things. And it's interesting because all of these things are the exact opposite of what we think of when we think of Tumblr. The guys on the alt-right or far-right. Or guys that just don't like that SJW crap. <laughs> now, when a normal friend of mine is lured on Tumblr, lured to Tumblr, it's because it's a site full of attractive, passive, shy kind of girls that are really pretty. Instagram style pretty without all the domineering, extroverted stuff. Uh, precious looking girls. Or the same exact thing, but for guys. Sometimes girls like pretty, soft, squishy kind of guys. That have their muscles and their little bad boy accessories, a little spice in them. But in a, that, that's what they like. They like the attractive, soft looking people. They like the quirky, corny kind of humor. They like. the threads full of like 90s gifs or gifs and yeah 90s movies and they like the pictures of the really good looking food for some reason some people get mad because Tumblr makes them hungry but that's usually what lures people to Tumblr and then this dynamic is ruined when months down the line they either decide to leave Tumblr because it's the same old ignorant crap or they become Tumblrized. They undergo socialization and they turn into social justice warriors because that Tumblr society, the society of Tumblr rights has brainwashed them the way all societies do and the way all societies ought to to a varying degree I mean these guys turn into full-blown Jezebel writers or Jezebel readers I mean and it's crazy because you get to see the side of Tumblr that Nobody wants to talk about. The side full of die cis scum people. The side full of depravity. I hate those reactionary buzzwords like degenerate and depraved because it's the right wing equivalent of shit word. But you get to see some weird ass shit. The SM, the S and them side. The side full of people that look like punk rockers on some new kind of street drug. That side. The side full of the fatties with overly count hair that look like they'd smell like roses and sauerkraut at the same time. You guys know what I'm talking about. The side of Tumblr that most of us on the alt-right or far-right talk about side we usually think about when we think of tumblr after a while so I start to realize that tumblr is in jeans because they lure you in with one thing and then you're socialized and affected forevermore by something that is completely the opposite and there's a midway ground see because you before you find 
the disgusting side of Tumblr. Somewhere in between is the side of Tumblr that has the left-wing feminists that are just status signaling because all they know is status signaling and they're attractive as well. Even if they have a little weight on them. I mean, thick girls are good, too. Oh, thick girls are great. But... There's that midway ground. There's a process to your socialization. And once you undergo that process... Then nobody outside of your circle will ever like you. Because you've been socialized by Tumblr and you will forever more remain a Tumblr, right? And that's how things go when you enter that sphere, and that's why I left. But I find it so interesting because speaking about Tumblr to other people is strange because at times I'll tell them that I love Tumblr, and other times I'll tell them I can't stand Tumblr. And you already know which side one for me. My visceral hatred within me of Tumblr went out over my love of its interesting finds. I mean, I've gotten into several things because of Tumblr. Several RPGs. I've gotten into soap operas and television shows because of it. I've gotten into liking certain celebrities and anime. It's a great place for finding new things. But... At the end of the day, it's also a cesspool for some of the grimiest stuff on the planet that no one will ever bring up. No one wants to bring it up. But I'm sure in a private setting, if you mentioned it, people know. Tumblrization is a thing, guys. Been Mr. Rocka 7, you already snow, respect the king. I right, peace.